Yeah, I think so. We've had two uh, pretty good, crisp days. You know, the weather's been nice and uh, temperature's been nice, and the guys have worked well, and they they are anxious to get back home and play. It seems like two weeks ago we were talking about the same thing, possibility of weather, um, but you guys handled it really well the last time. Does that give you guys some confidence going in here, knowing that you know this current team has handled it very well in, in case it does present itself? Uh, it does, and I, you know, I think the guys had the right attitude about it. They, hey, we play the game. You know, what the elements are, what they are, and uh, you know, they did a nice job of handling it and executing and. Uh, and everything, so I, I think we'll, you know, we're going to declare a winner at three o'clock Saturday, no matter what the weather is. So we're going to have to clock. And did you do any of the the same drills, the wet ball drill, or anything like that this this time around? Again? Yeah, we did uh, some today, and we'll probably do some more tomorrow. It now looks like Genty is going to be the starting the starting quarterback. Do you, any difference between the two, what Allen versus this 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 guy right here? You know, this guy has not played a whole lot, um, so I don't see a lot of difference. I, I can't compare their speed. He still throws a decent ball. And, you know, as long as he's got Larry Rose back here, um, you know, it's going to help him play better. Uh, and uh, you know, he's already got 1,000 yards, so I, I don't see a big drop off. I mean, I'm sure there was a reason that Allen was the starter and he was the backup, but he's gotten to play, and I think he started one game, so he's, he's been out there when the helmets are a different color, and I don't, I don't think it'll change their plan a whole lot. Finally, um, I think you talked a little bit about it on during Tuesday's press conference, but you talked a little bit about the big picture. What specifically did you say about the whole big picture of the season? Because you said you didn't spend much time on it. No, I just felt like, uh, you know, we were coming home. We had three home games. Uh, I told them the record of the people we played and the record of the people we're getting ready to play. You know, I don't, you know, that doesn't mean anything other than they haven't achieved at the level we have faced. Uh, and we've still got to play, you know, because we haven't achieved uh, at that level. And, uh, but I think they need to, to see the big picture once in a while. And, biggest thing was we're coming home for three games and now we last year we beat all five of these teams now can we do that this year that remains to be seen different team different year all of these teams have improved from last year every one of them are better so the challenges are bigger and uh, everything and then we went on to New Mexico State because we can only take them one more time so I, I periodically will you know got kind of give them a big picture look and we always look at the conference standings on Sunday and people are and, and where we fit in and everything. But this was more, this is maybe the first time you talked more about the, you know, just the whole season as a whole, what's looking ahead or is it you just... No, I do it every once in a while. I mean, I don't do it every Sunday. Gotcha. But, you know, when it's, when I think the situation merits it, I mean, after conference play, uh, it was probably the last time I did it, or non-conference play, uh, starting conference play. And this, this was the next one after that where we kind of reached a point where, okay, we got five games left and three at home here. So we got to try to make the best of that. Appreciate the time, Coach. All right.